carpal tunnel syndrome. You've probably heard of the condition or may suffer from it yourself. But what is carpal tunnel syndrome? What causes it and how can it be treated? There is a narrow passage in your wrist called the carpal tunnel. It's where the nerves that control hand and finger motion pass through from the brain and arm. Because the carpal tunnel is only an inch wide and is surrounded by bone, damage to the nerves can occur from certain repetitive movement or pressure. The median nerve is the major nerve to the hand. Carpal tunnel syndrome refers specifically to damage to the median nerve. The condition can lead to mild discomfort in some cases and pain, numbness, tingling, and loss of grip in its worst form. Carpal tunnel syndrome is generally caused by repetitive motion or pressure on the median nerve. So patients can range from tennis enthusiasts to carpenters to anyone who spends their day in front of a computer keyboard. Any repetition of hand and wrist motion over long periods of time can be the cause. Other causes include pregnancy, when swelling due to hormonal changes occur. Other health conditions like arthritis and diabetes are also causes. Carpal tunnel syndrome is not caused by a single injury, but a prolonged crowding of the median nerve. The first signs of carpal tunnel syndrome include numbness and tingling in the wrist and hands. There may be a shooting pain in the forearm or shoulder. If you notice trouble with finger movement or difficulty gripping an object, you may be in the beginning stages of carpal tunnel syndrome. As always, if the pain in your wrist is persistent or particularly painful, you should see your doctor who can refer you to a specialist. There are several tests for carpal tunnel syndrome. Your doctor may push down on your wrist and the median nerve to check for pain or numbness. Any pain over here? Just mostly right, right there. Your physician can also check for loss of sensitivity in your fingertips or weakness in the muscles around the thumb. Your condition may require further tests, including the use of specialized equipment to test for electronic conductivity in your hand and arm. X-rays and MRI scans can also detect abnormal or damaged nerves. What is the treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome? If your condition is fairly mild, there are several changes you can make to keep the problem from worsening. Something as simple as changing the angle of your computer keyboard or wearing a wrist brace will relieve the pressure on the median nerve. If your injury is sports related, you may have to change your activity or slow down until your condition improves. A shot of cortisone can be a pain reliever, but should be considered a temporary fix. The last resort, as always, is surgery. Your orthopedic surgeon will perform a procedure to open up the size of the carpal tunnel and relieve pressure on the median nerve. There are different types of this surgery, including endoscopic surgery, that is non-invasive, or open carpal tunnel release, that involves an incision to open the wrist and then widen the carpal tunnel. Your surgeon will choose the method that is appropriate to your condition. Surgery is a proven and effective long-term solution to carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a progressive condition that will get worse over time if changes are not made. Check with your physician to find a solution that's best for you. Many times there is something in your lifestyle that caused carpal tunnel syndrome. Small changes in lifestyle can also help to correct it.